Good evening to Pastor Rogers, my New Bethlehem Church family and friends. My name is Gary Williams. I'm here to talk from the pew regarding one of the fruits of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit I will be discussing today is peace. People everywhere are searching for peace, especially right now. We're living in a time, in a strange time, where we're looking for it more and more each day. People sing songs about it. They travel near and far searching for it. People will even wage war to protect it. Yet there are two types of peace I would like to discuss in contrast. The first is peace of the world, and the second is the peace of God. John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives do, I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The peace offered by the world is an empty promise that can only be, bring temporary comfort. God's peace is a permanent peace offered by the only one who can be trusted to keep his word. Let's compare the world's peace to God's peace. The world's peace ignores the root of the problem. We often ask what's wrong with the world today. Many people will point to several things such as corrupt governments, volatile stock market, broken families, and so much more. The world tries to fix these problems by simply doing or being good, thereby achieving an earthly peace. The world peace tries to fix the symptoms of sin, but fail to see the root of the problem is the disease of sin itself, which is something that can only be healed by Jesus Christ, and not by money, regulation or reform. In the Old Testament, the false prophets treated sin lightly and proclaimed that the problem was solved when it was not. Jeremiah 6 and 14 says, they have healed the wound of my people slightly, saying peace, peace, when there is no peace. In contrast to the world's promise of peace, God's peace is permanent and firmly grounded in his word. He does not ignore our sin, he heals it, making his peace a different kind of peace from what we find in the world. Our God offers peace in the midst of chaos. God's peace not only deals with our circumstances, but it changes our circumstances. Isaiah 54 and 10 says, For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. John 16, 33 says, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace, in the world you have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Philippians 4 through 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. May God bless you and may God keep you in his perfect peace.